From the outside, it looked like a regular car wash, but inside, a gun trafficking operation bringing in a lot of cash. Tonight, the manager of a South Suburban car wash facing federal charges, and the FBI is showing off quite the haul. CBS 2's Jermont Terry live in Madison tonight with how it all went down. Jermont. Erica and Joe, according to the feds, you could get more than just a clean car from this business. The manager is accused of using the car wash as a front to sell illegal weapons. And we're not just talking handguns. According to the feds, automatic long rifles, even the machine gun, all shipped and sold here. And tonight, we break down how the feds shut down this operation. Along Cicero Avenue in South Suburban Madison sits Madison Auto Spa. The $10 deal isn't the only special federal prosecutors said you could find here. High-powered weapons shipped and purchased for cash. On Wednesday, the feds arrested car wash manager Arshad Zayed. He's accused of manufacturing and dealing firearms from inside the shop. According to court records from August 2021 until just last week, the feds used a high-ranking gang member turned informant who recorded audio and video of the transactions. Zayed had no idea. 36 weapons sold in all. In one purchase, the informant identified as CS2 arrived and entered the Matson Auto Spa. Zayed directed CS2 to a room within the car wash that appeared to be his workshop, wherein Zayed showed the two AR-15 style rifles. Here's what the feds say Zayed sold them first. During the meeting's recording show, Zayed then asked, are you okay taking these now? To which the informant indicated he was. Zayed replied, okay, let me clean them all up. Images from the secret recording show Zayed in gloves cleaning the weapons. The feds say Zayed is seen on video placing the firearms in a large box and can be observed removing a shipping label from the box stating, I just don't want my name on them. You never know, bro. But this image shows he did not remove every label. Court records show several of the weapons were ghost guns. They had no serial numbers and could not be traced. And this was big business with thousands of dollars made with each transaction. In March, after six successful purchases using FBI tracked money, the informant was observed counting approximately $12,000 in cash in front of Zayed. And when asked how he would receive the firearms, Zayed responded, it's in the brown box. Minutes later, images show him coming out of the business with the box. What was in the box? 12 weapons, ammunition, and silencers. Now, I did reach out to the city, and I'm told that they had no idea about these federal charges that this car wash manager faces. Tonight, they, too, are looking over the 65-page criminal complaint to see maybe if they can pull the license to this business. But they're told that the owner who owns this establishment says he had no idea what the manager was up to. Reporting live in Madison tonight, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News. Joe and Erica. Thank you, Jermont.